Now the Big 12 season is over, and one team was left standing. The Oklahoma Sooners at 12 wins and no losses. Number one in the country, number one in the Big 12. Next on Sooner Football 2000. And there it is, the Big 12 Championship Trophy. Funny how it should say 12 on there, Coach, because that's what you are, 12 and 0. Congratulations. Thanks, Bob. It really is special. You know, a uh, university like Oklahoma, with all its great tradition, uh, never has been 12 and 0. Exactly. You know, and a season like this has is, is really been exciting and fun, and uh, it's good to have this trophy here with us. Oh, it's fantastic. It's just a gorgeous trophy. What a great game, Coach, and a competitive game. The nation was all watching. It was just... And it was perfect. And it was really important that we won that game. As, as good as the season's been, everyone all last week wanted to tell us, hey, regardless of what happens in that game, you guys have had a great year, and, and uh, you know, don't worry about it. And that's not almost like they're trying to prepare us to lose. And I said, no, we're not going to accept that. And our players understood that, and I think that's a big factor in the game, that uh, our, ter our season would have been terribly incomplete without this championship, uh, you know, and, and winning this football game. We understood that we needed to go out and do that. So uh, that's why we told the players, listen, we got to – Burn those the first 11. Uh, right now, all that matters is this one game. We put all those games into this one, and, uh, and they, they reacted well. And you, of course, added to the great tradition with the first time winning 12 games and winning the first Big 12 championship. We're going to see it all right here on Sooner Football 2000. You stay with us. Sooner Football 2000 is brought to you by Coca-Cola, the official soft drink of the Oklahoma Sooners. Your Oklahoma Ford dealers, the best in Oklahoma. Phillips 66, proud sponsors of OU Athletics. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. The Daily Oklahoman, the Oklahoman sports section, we got game. National American Insurance Company, Oklahomans working hard for Oklahomans. What a setting, it was the fifth Big 12 championship game, Arrowhead in Kansas City, and the largest crowd ever to see a conference championship game in any conference was on hand, almost 80,000, Coach Stoops. What a set it. It was really a great environment, Bob. Uh, you know, the weather, though, was cold. Uh, the, the wind was very, really no factor, and that helped. And uh, great environment, great stadium, and uh, great crowd there on hand, and uh, really was uh, a fun environment to be right in the middle of. Sooners won the toss, and you elected to defer, Coach, right? Yeah, you know that. Seth is usually our coin toss uh, expert, and, and he's done a great job all year. We've won a bunch of those coin tosses. Look at it. There's the fireworks, and really was a great setting. Oh, man, it certainly was. And the fireworks just beginning. Tim's uh, kickoffs weren't as, as good as normal, but... Uh, you know, on that one, uh, we bounced to them, and they did a nice job of turning it out near the 30. Terrence Newman returned it. They had a block in the back that backed them up, and uh, they start off with the lead play up inside. Ryan Fisher with a great play. Ryan's had a great year. Only three-yard pickup. Second down, seventh to 17. They threw it around a trap, and we had a couple guys miss tackles, and he mushes us for about seven, eight yards, and too, too many yards there. Picked up a first down to 25. Here they try a play-action pass, trying to suck us up, uh, you know, on the play fake and, uh, and get over the top. Michael Thompson in great position. Had an excellent uh, game. Michael Thompson really played well. Second down, 10 yards to go. They run a quarterback draw and uh, defended well there. We really played their quarterback run game excellent and knocked the ball out and come up with a big turnover right off the bat. I believe it was Torrance Marshall, coach, that stripped him. And Here you see him again. Quarterback draw really played well. Ryan Fisher, Fisher hits him first. Torrance Marshall and look at Torrance Marshall ripped the ball out. He and Rocky Kalmus and uh, great play. Roy Williams made the recovery. Sooners in great shape at the 27 in K-State territory. Right off the bat here. Great way to start the game, getting the momentum. Offense is going to work the ball here a little bit. Josh hits a great pass and a great catch by Andre Wolfolk down to the four-yard line. That's 23 yards picked up. We'll see a replay. Good play action fake. Good protection. Josh has a lot of time back there, delivers a great ball. 
right in there to the belly. Andre Wolfolk, good, good execution. Right in front of the defensive man. First and goal from the four. There's a zone play. Quentin picks up two yards. After penalty, false start moves the sitters back at second goal from the seven. It's going to be a great play by Trent Smith right here. Good pass. Trent bobbles it, but comes down and catches it inside the one. We have a re uh, different angle here. Look at this. Again, Josh throws a strike. Josh, or uh, Trent needs to catch that on the first try, and then he could probably get in the end zone. Third but and goal. Good one. catch, though. Yeah, big night. Yeah, we try and sneak it. We really are. Uh, well, that looked like I was in. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. And I don't usually they're going to give you that. Fourth down and goal. Fourth and goal. And still they stuff us. Stuff us. We lose a yard. And uh, we really needed to put that ball in the end zone. Our, our short yardage offense really struggled last night. K State's pinned deep from the two. Great tackle there by Roy Williams uh, coming up out of the secondary. Great run support. Not only a yard. Good coverage here. Uh, you know, uh, Quincy Morgan catches the ball on his knee, so he's down automatically. Third down and seven. Again, excellent defense. We got good pressure. Torrance Marshall bats the ball up in the air, and it really was high. I thought we were going to catch it. So the Sooners get him three and out there. Yeah, I tell you, great defense uh, all day. Uh, we, uh, I think we held them to, to three of 14 on third down conversions, and uh, really a special day defensively. The punt short. Thatcher makes the fair catch at the K-State 38. Great field position. Give our offense the ball inside the 50, and uh, Andre was behind him. We Josh just off the target just a little bit on that fade route. After another incomplete pass to Wolf, up third and 10 at the 38. Big pick up here. Damian Mackey on a curl route picks up 12, 13 yards. Great throw. See here the protection. Josh has a lot of time. Sees the curl route come open right here and delivers the ball. Excellent play. Damian Mackey for 14 yards, first down at the K-State 24. Incomplete pass, brings up second and 10 at the 24. Gets pressured, and uh, Josh Nolan makes a good play off of the scramble and a good run after the catch. Nine yards picked up, we'll see it again. And Josh having trouble finding someone early, scrambles just a little bit and sees Josh Norman come open, and Josh has a nice job coming back for the ball and gaining yards after the catch. Josh Norman's a good runner with the ball after he gets it. Third down in the yard to go from the 15. Here we go, third in the yard again and can't make it. And uh, at least we get the ball in the middle here. We're going to kick a field goal, and Tim uh, puts it through the uprights, and he had a big day field goal-wise. He sure did. That gives the Sinners an early 3-0 lead over K-State. That was seven plays, 23 yards on that drive after the kick. Here's the kickoff from Tim Duncan. Here's a better kick. Good, down to the goal line. And, uh, Lockett's kid, kid, Aaron Lockett today. bringing it out, but uh, good tackle there by Antoine Savage at the 25. That's pretty decent coverage. Got two yards on first down, second and eight from the 37. Then they run a lead play that picks up yards, and we force another fumble. Excellent job punching the ball out, but they gave it back to them. First and 10 at the 36. Throw, quick stop route tackled and defended well by Michael Thompson out there. Eight yard gain by Morgan who caught the pass second to the 44. Run a draw. And uh, he mushes up in there for a few yards. Ryan Fisher with the good tackle. First and 10 right there at the 50. Trying to go to a quick game. Great play there by again by Michael Thompson. Just had a great day. He strips that ball and uh, good play by him. Second down. We try a, a roll pass. We have a blitz on, and he gets outside of us, but we force a, force a poor throw. It's great pressure all night, Coach Will. Here we come with another blitz, and again, forcing him to scramble, and he has to throw off balance, and again, great defense. The three incomplete passes, fourth down. That's Travis Brown punting. And the ball will be down eventually at the OU 14-yard line. I think we forced uh, Beasley to be something like 14 of 36 uh, throwing the ball, and that's excellent against him because he's a good quarterback. After a loss of two, second 12 from the 12. We try to go to a fade route to Andre Wolfolk, and uh, they have a player who makes an excellent play on the ball, and we just could not fight him for it. So big play on their part. Tyshawn Carter made the interception. First and 10, K-State the 43 in Sooner territory. Good run support there. Uh, Rocky Kalmus and uh, Roy Williams on the tackle. Second and eight. Try to full back again, and he just sort of we hitting him on the side, and he mushes up in there for too many. That's Rock Cartwright, who's 
I mean, a big third down stop on the look at Torrance Marshall dive over the pile and make a big tackle on the third down. Lockett going left only got a yard, fourth and two. Fourth and two, and they try a quick kick, or not a quick kick, but a pooch punt, and they do a nice job keeping it out of the end zone and pinning the steep. So the old short punt formation. But, so the centers take over first and ten at their own three. So a swing pass here, a swing screen there to Quentin, and uh, he gets it off the goal line anyway. Got six, second down four. Here they come with the blitz, picked up well. And uh, we bobble the ball, it hits Andre Wolfolk in the, or uh, Curtis Fagan in the hands, and he bobbles it up in the air and gives it to them. Devane Robinson intercepts for K-State at the 11-yard line. Here they try a reverse, and again, really defended well. Rocky Kalmus with a great tackle out there. That's the end of the first quarter. Come back, we'll be right back. We start the second quarter. It's Second down nine from the OU 10. Now going the other way is K-State. Here we have the option stopped initially, but he does a nice job of uh, stepping through a few tackles and uh, make a, you know, makes a good run and picks up a touchdown. So Jonathan Beasley scores near the extra point by Jamie Reen, and K-State takes the lead, 7-3, after that pass interception and the drive of 11 yards, two plays. That's really the only touchdown, you know, outside of the one with six seconds to go in the game that our defense gives up all day against a good team, and uh, that uh, says a lot. After a first and gain of yard, second and nine from the 21 here. Getting good, uh, you know, good pass rush there and uh, force a poor throw there to the boundary. Third down. Good protection here. Throw a swing pass here to Clinton, and really uh, they, they defended it well and uh, forced us to punt. Jeff Ferguson back. I almost got that one. We uh, blocked him at least long enough or forced him to twist wide enough that uh, he couldn't get to it. 38-yard line is after 41-yard punt. K-State, first and 10. Here they go again, a fullback trap that picks up a few yards. They hurt us with that early in the game here, but we're going to end up uh, taking care of it here a little bit later. He got seven on that down. He gets two on this down. That's Rock Cartwright. Rock Cartwright. Third and one. They do a nice job powering that. Just, just get enough for the first down. At the 48. Here they throw a quick game out to Quincy Morgan and does a nice job with the catch and run. Picked up eight on the play second two from Oklahoma 44. Another lead draw up in there and again good strong tackle there out of the secondary from Roy Williams. That was David Allen carrying for the first time. First and 10th, the Oklahoma 42. Here they fake a draw and trying to go deep and uh, can't get anybody deep so they dump it off, pick up a couple. Nick Hoheisel caught that. Second down five. Here comes the option again. And uh, they do a nice job executing good tackle from J.T. Thatcher there in the alley. First down, 10 yards to go from the Oklahoma 28. Here they try the trap again. We got him tackled there initially, and then he runs through the tackle and picks up too many yards. And Corey Heineke runs him down and Michael Thompson. Got 15 yards to the Oklahoma 13. Here they run a counter, defended well. Good uh, job there, penetrating by Rocky Calmus and J.T. Thatcher makes the tackle. Second down. Here comes the option again. Uh, good job, good execution on defense, and uh, good tackle there by Torrance Marshall and good support out of the secondary by Roy. Got five yards, third and five at the center six. They try the quarterback run game again, and we're looking for it. And uh, good tackle there again by Torrance and Rocky. Force a field goal, which we needed to do. Kept him out of the end zone as far as the touchdown. And south, a 10 to three game K-State after that field goal of uh, 22 yards. Anytime you can force a field goal and hold off a touchdown, you, you, you still have a chance, and uh, that was a big play to hold them to that. And just touch it back on the kickoff and start first down at the 20. Throw the ball out there to the flat, and uh, Seth Luttrell with a good run after the catch. Made eight on the play, second and two. <laughs> run a draw play here to Quentin, and uh, good job picking up the first down, good strong running. First and 10 at 31. Throw a swing pass again to Quentin. Nice job of running. Just about turn the corner on him. See that again, Coach. See Josh sees him coming open out there in the quick flat. Good strike to him. And Quentin's just about around the corner on this defender, and he's going to pick up some extra yards. It's at the Oklahoma 39 first down. Or make that second and two. Yeah. Run the zone play again to Quentin. That uh, again, just just uh, got to be able to get some yards there. Third and one. 
third and one and uh, forced to throw the ball since we hadn't done a very good job running short yards and they sack us. So uh, we need to need to execute better than that. Almost a little snap there, but first it makes a nice punt. Good makes punt. Center bounce. Gets a big bounce and, uh, you know, Allen isn't able to get a handle on it and, and uh, we pick up some extra yards there. Ball start on K-State, first and 15th at 21 here. They try an option pass. And uh, really, our defenders are down there. Michael Thompson's going to make another excellent play. Thought he was going to intercept that. Just needed to catch it, but uh, still good position on him. Second and 15. There goes that trap again and really played well now. We're starting to look for the trap a little better. Only well, we got two on the play. Third and 13. Try a play action pass right here. And almost intercepted again uh, out there in the, in the corner there by Michael Thompson once again. Third and 13. Great block again by Josh Norman. Ante Jones, great job of catching the ball, trying to run with it. Excellent play of holding on to the ball, too. Watch this block by Josh Norman. Great play. It's tremendous. Second time this year, I think he's blocked the front. Here he is coming, sneaking through, and great knack for laying out and getting his hands on the ball. That's an excellent play on his part. And great job by Ante uh, trying to get the ball in the end zone. So the centers are in business at the Kansas State 17-yard line after the block punt by Josh Norman and the recovery by Ante Jones. Great job giving our offense field position, defense, and special teams. Back to pass. Josh gets pressured, dumps the ball in a scramble to Damian Mackey. Big play. Coach, he did a good job coming back to the ball. Didn't These are little things people don't see Josh do. You know, he's pressured. He can't find anyone initially. There's a guy on his legs when he throws the ball and, and still gets the ball to Damian Mackey to, to, you know, to pick up yards and move the ball. Second and three at the 10. Swing pass there to Quentin. Good play. Get the ball down to the two-yard line. Good execution. That's been an effective play for you. Here they are dropping off in the soft zones, but in that case, we executed, caught the ball, and got it upfield and pick up a good first down a lot of yards. First and goal from the one. Play action pass. Trent Smith wide open in the corner of the end zone. I guess not wide open. He was for a second, but a big touchdown. See it again. He uses his height very well. He, uh, he, Trent had a big game. He had an excellent game catching the football and uh, Eight getting pitches. open. You see Josh again. Good play action. Defender right in his face. You look at him just touch the ball up over the defender. Gives Trent a chance to catch it. Big catch by Trent. Oh, that was a great drive. 17 yards, three plays after the block kick by Josh Norman. Great execution there by uh, Josh Heupel and Trent Smith. Extra point. I'll tell you, had a great day. Patrick Fletcher holding the ball. We had some off-the-mark snaps, and Patrick had a great day uh, putting the ball down for Tim Duncan. Made a big difference in the game. And the kickoff. Aaron Lockett. Down to the goal line, and, and they were close on a few of these kickoff returns, too, to popping some things, and uh, we just got stuck on too many blocks. First and 10 at the 29 for K-State. Here they try and lead up inside, and we stuff it. J.T. Thatcher and, and Torrance Marshall with the tackle. Here it is again. You see Rocky blitzing. Sort of a run blitz we have on in there. Torrance and J.T. hit him right in the hole, and they lose yards on that play. Loss of two. Being tied at 10, and at second and 12, at the 27. Ryan Fisher was in on that play as well. Here they try a roll out. Again, defended well. And, and again, Michael Thompson with his hands on another ball. He had his hands on about six balls yesterday. He did. Third down. They try a screen. And uh, again, great play out of the secondary. I don't know how Roy Williams fought his way through about three blockers and made a great tackle to save the first down. They have a bad snap. And uh, Punter cannot handle the ball. So they fumble it, and it looks here like they're going to pick up a first down, but the ruling is on fourth down, the only person that can advance a fumble is the person that fumbled the ball. And being that that wasn't the punter, we get the ball back. That was a great call by the officials. The correct call, as Coach said. Again, great job off of a scramble by Josh. He throws the ball downfield uh, to avoid a sack, and uh, good play. Second down, 10. Here they blitz us, and he's got to throw the ball away again. So we're uh, having trouble getting a rhythm. We needed to score here, and we're not going to do it. This is a, this, this hurts us, this drive. After the delay of, penalty of uh, game third and 15. Again, no one to dump the ball to, and uh, we try and dump it to Seth on a third and 15. That's not going to help you. So we're going to pooch punt. Look like we're going for a field goal. 
So we draw them all up and there's no return, man. So we just bop the ball over their head and want to try and pin them down there on the goal line. And we do it. Good job by Tim Duncan with that punt. That's the end of the first half. The game's all tied at 10. Stay with it. Relive all the thrills and excitement of the Sooners magical 2000 season with the official video, Sooner Football 2000, The Magic is Back. This fantastic video captures all the heart-stopping highlights of every game, including the Big 12 championship game. You'll also see exclusive locker room footage not available anywhere else. This video makes a great gift for the holidays at Soonersports.com. Halftime of the game, it's tied at 10. Coach, you scored the field goal early, then they scored 10 points in a row, yet your team fought back with great defense and tied it up by halftime. Tied it up at halftime, and we went in at halftime understanding that, that we had uh, squandered a few red zone opportunities. We had uh, missed on a couple third and inches and fourth and inches, uh, uh, you know, situations that we needed to convert, but we did understand we were playing great defense. Uh, our, our special teams were, were playing well, and uh, so we understood we were going to play better in the second half on offense, and uh, we just need to stick to the game plan, continue to play great defense, and, uh, and if we did that, we were going to be in great shape uh, by the end of the football game, and, and that's sure enough how it happened. Coach, uh, kicking game, you coaches talk about that all the time. Boy, this was an important factor in that game, wasn't it? It sure was, and uh, you know, the one touchdown uh, they're going to get in the second half, uh, you know, before the last seconds right. of the game, the, the one touchdown they're going to get, we're going to line drive a punt right to uh, you know David Allen and, and he comes right back with it but uh, special teams are a major factor in all these big games but uh, but we knew we were playing good though on our part as well but uh, needed to continue to play great defense and uh, that old cliche that you win championships with defense it, it still holds true uh, for a large part I think the whole team wins it but you, you, you seldom are going to win it without playing a great defensive game and, uh, and our players did that to hold them to 200 and, and uh, I believe 235 yards right. for the day and they get 60 Amazing. they get 60 in the last drive when we're just sloughing off letting them use the clock so right. to hold them I think with a minute to play in the game they had 170 yards um, you know says a lot about what you're doing defensively second half coming up stay with us Sooners won the toss originally elected to defer so they had the choice third quarter Jamie Reen puts it about five yards deep in the end zone the Sooners start first and ten at their own 20. Good kick by them, but uh, starting off at our 20, not bad. And oh well, you know, there's another drop ball. Andre usually catches that on the corner route, but uh, second down. After a penalty, false start. It's second 15. Another perfect pass. It just bounces right off the chest of uh, Curtis Fagan. And, and again, Curtis usually catches that ball, but uh, that'd have been a big play. He was upset with himself, obviously. And there's Trent Smith with another big catch uh, over the middle on third and real long. Third and 15, you see it again, Josh, a lot of time to throw. There's a soft zone coverage. Everyone's, everyone thinks it's a new invention, but Josh puts the ball there. It's ex we, we execute and catch the football and pick up a first down. He sort of ate that Gerard Cooper up, I'll say that. He, he had a great night, Trent. Did. Trent had a big night. Stop right there to Curtis Fagan, which is good. Picks up three or four. And brings up a third and seven from the 41. We tried to curl right there at Andre Woolfolk, and uh, defender in Josh's face made him throw the ball a little bit high. Again, good punt protection there. They came after a bunch of punts, and good angle kick away from trying to make uh, lock, it, lock it run, you know, and run to get the ball. And it looks like he has a big return, but they had a block in the back, way back where he caught the ball. It backs him up. Puts him to the 15, then after the penalty. Lead play up inside, and Roy Williams penetrates through a blocker to make that tackle. Great play by Roy. Great support on the, on the option right there. J.T. Thatcher, and I think, made that stop. Third and two. Again, thought we had him initially, but uh, he stumbles through and picks up the first down, but Roy Williams is there to make the tackle. So he went out the back door there after faking the left. First and ten. Play action pass. Good coverage there. Uh, it's uh, Roger Stephan and Roy Williams out there on the coverage. Second down at the Kansas State. Look at Roy Williams almost jumps over the blocker for, you know, to get the pressure, but uh, he gets the ball out there for a first down. So good execution on their part. At the 44. Option play again. J.T. Thatcher there to make the stop. He kept trying to jump back inside on his option play, but J.T. was ready for it that time. Second down eight. Again, Michael Thompson almost intercepts the ball. Oh, that's Derek Strait on that one. They, they spotted it like you had an interception, and then they rolled it incomplete. 
Great play here by Torrance Marshall on the screen pass. He was there waiting for it. Makes a big stop on third down. Well, that, that's just great discipline on defense, Coach. And good defensive call. Uh, you know, Mike Stoops and Brent Venables, great game plan in, in making the calls. And they had Torrance manned up so they couldn't get the screen. That's, that's a big stop. Brings up a fourth down and nine. And back to kick the ball is Travis Brown. Very short kick. JT comes up. Kind of scary there the way he caught that one. But uh, he picks up yards. At the 31, first down. Good protection, shovel pass. Good play. Getting the ball upfield. Picked up six, second and four. Throw a screen pass here. Antoine Savage and almost picks up the first down. He does pick it up. Give, I believe at the 41 yard line, first and 10. Run a draw play here to Quentin. Good, good run. Picks up about five or six yards. Good hole over the left side that time. In the second half here, our run game picked up. You know, we never went away from it, and it makes a difference. Another big play there by Trent Smith and Josh Hyper. See Trent Smith come open here. Here's Josh, shotgun. Sees Trent right off the bat, beat his defender inside. Nice catch by Trent, holding the football, too. Always trying to strip it. Good job taking care of the ball. That was 17 yards picked up after uh, incomplete pass. We pick it up a bit later, first and five. They had a face mask that got us the first and five here. We fake the reverse, and uh, Quentin does a great job, great job of blocking, and uh, run just a basic toss sweep and get the ball downfield. It's a hand sweep, great blocking. Look at Frank Romero, who's had an excellent year, really come on to be a great tackle. Uh, there's uh, Seth Luttrell out blocking in front of Quentin. There's Andre Wolfolk downfield, and, and Quentin does a great job getting the ball downfield. Well, that was beautifully done. Man. Great blocking, as you said, 25 yards. Here we wanted to fade to Andre Wolfolk. It's covered. Josh does a great job tucking the ball and getting a big touchdown. Great play on Josh's part. That shows some speed, Coach, that uh, a lot of wow. people didn't know he had. Josh is a good athlete. He, he right here again, you know, we want him to throw it. He just can't find anybody open, but he sees the hole open up here. They're in man defense, and big hole opens up. No one's over there, so... He just decides to tuck the ball and go get it. And uh, Josh got excellent speed to get in the end zone. That was a 69-yard drive, eight plays. And Josh Heupel scoring the touchdown and a little uh, celebration there, justly so. Big play. Extra point by Tim Duncan. Sails through the uprights, and it's center is back on top, 17-10. Duncan kicking off. Good Aaron kick. Lockett again waiting for it. Good high kick. Out there on the numbers where we like it. And again, though, they, they just uh, block us, and that's Tim with the, with the big tackle. I tell you, Tim had a great day. Blocking is dangerous. First and 10 to 37. Again, great run defense there. I tell you what, our, our defense just it's fun to watch. That sure is. A two on the play. Sprint out. Torrance Marshall coming up to contain him, forces him again to throw a poor pass and throw the ball down on third down and force another punt. Force nine punts in this game, which is excellent. And, of course, the kicking game was a key. Travis Brown punting 37 yards and will be down there. As JT is worried about getting everyone away from it except himself and almost bounced it and hit in. First and 10 with a 24 for OU. On a swing pass, again, just about around the corner there. and uh, Almost a replay of that earlier. That's right. And if he breaks a couple of those, it's, it's out the gate. Here they back down the ball. They got a blitz on a couple people in Josh's face. Hard to get the ball through in that situation and force a punt. After an incomplete pass, it's fourth down and nine. Ferguson punts 33 yards and that's, uh, Lockett short. catches it on the road. Yeah, that's a short uh, line drive punt right to him. We really don't have much chance there. He breaks one tackle early and gets it right in the end zone. 58 yards on the return by Lockett. Really, the extra yeah. point was good, and you see the game tied at 17 again. Poor job executing on our part, and a nice job on their part executing. To the goal line is the kickoff. Antoine Savage carrying. Gets the ball out uh, to the 20-21. After a one-yard pickup at second and nine for 22. Here we go to a fade route to Trent Smith. Great job coming back for the football. He is having enough. He is, and uh, Josh knows he's hot, likes, uh, likes the matchup he has. Josh goes to him right now, puts a nice high ball. Trent's a big, tall guy. Gives him a nice high ball that he can go jump and get, and uh, good play on their part. As we said earlier, he's had eight, he had eight catches in this game. 
after a couple of plays, we've got to pick it up first and 10 for 48. Looking downfield, no one there, soft zone, so we dunk it out to Quentin, and again, he picks up eight yards. We'll take it. Third and one after a play, a one yard pickup. Josh uh, back with four corner action. Game tied at 17. The center started to drive late in the third period from their own 21. Seven plays later, it is fourth and one at the K-State 39. And we break out the old sooner option, Bob, just when we needed it most. <laughs> Beautifully done, too. They were stuffing the inside, and we knew we wanted to get the ball to the perimeter. Great block, and look at Seth Luttrell's oh, block man. out there and Andre Wolfolk's block. Great pitch by Josh Heupel, and, and that just barely trips up Quentin. Great job of running and catching the pitch by Quentin. From the 17, first and 10. And that was a big first down to pick up. Feel the protection. Great protection, and uh, Andre Wolf works his way open. Josh throws a strike for a touchdown. Good ISO right there of uh, Scott Kempenick. Good blocking. Good. A lot of time to throw the ball, and Josh throws a strike right down the middle, right in the chest of Andre Wolf Touchdown. Big play. That was a nine-play, 79-yard drive. Pretty impressive indeed. Started late in the third quarter, finishes here in the fourth, and the extra point makes it 24-17, and here comes the kickoff. And that fourth and one option was a big play in the game. Is that locket, kid? <laughs> yeah, good coverage this time, though. To the 21, first and 10. Yeah, they run a, just a full draw that's really defended well inside there by uh, Corey Heineke, Torrance Marshall. I'm sure Rocky Calvis is in there somewhere. We're really stuffing that down now. Second and nine. Again, they work their way through a crack right there and pick up a few. That was Josh Scobie, third and three. Excellent defense again. You've got tight man coverage on. Look at two guys there to break it up. And again, Michael Thompson breaks up another pass. I tell you, what a game he had. Fourth and three. Low snap. Brown gets the kick away. Fletcher returns at three yards. After an incomplete pass, second 10 at the Oklahoma 48. Good way to start off. Yeah, throw the ball in there to, again, Trent Smith. Picked up eight, third and two. Third and two, we run the boot. And Josh finds a second option there, crossing the middle. And again, Trent Smith with the big catch. Big first down. Pick it up a couple plays later, third and nine at the 37, K-State territory. Good play on their part, I tell you what, that, that uh, have a curl right there that that player just jumps and uh, makes a heck of a play. Demetrius Butler makes the He's interception. Good player. Pass downfield to Quincy Morgan for 25. And we're just, uh, right now they completed a few balls in there. They run a quarterback counter that Rocky Calmus is looking for, and uh, Corey Callens made an excellent play. Walser won second and 11 from good the 39. blitz there. And, uh, Roy Williams puts the pressure on, and uh, there's Torrance Marshall reading the screen right off the bat. They try a screen off of the blitz, and Torrance Marshall sniffs it out right off the bat and makes a big play. Hit him immediately. Big play on third down. Incomplete pass brings up fourth down and 13. From fourth 41. and 13, which is great. Now they got to force him to punt again, and uh, that's a big stop. There's a new punter in there. Jared Bright punts it only 27 yards out of bounds. At the 14, first down. Here, good play there. Again, they have a blitz on that Josh he feels the pressure but delivers the ball right to Trent Smith. Again, third and short, and we get stuffed again, and uh, that really hurt us in this game. We'd have had more yards and have possibility at more points. Jeff Ferguson back to punt the ball, kicks at 35 yards. David Allen this time waits for it. Again, good high kick, though, by Jeff that time, and Andre Wolf folks down there to make the tackle. They stay 49 first down. It's going to be a big stop again here. They get a few yards right off the bat. Uh, Rocky Calmus and JT with the tackle. Again, they try to pull back, and he's stuffed. And that's the play they got early in the game. And right. I think it's Barry Holloman with the big tackle right there. Third and four. Again, we got a pressure. Watch Ante Jones beat the block, and then he's going to run him down. A big sack on third that down. Great. That's a great play. Got a blitz on. Great coverage. He had nowhere to throw the ball. He wants to throw it, and you see the great coverage downfield. He can't. Can't get it off because there's no one open, and eventually Ante works away from the, his defender. It's blocking him and uh, tracks the quarterback. Look at him dive and make a big sack. That's a big play, on, again, on third down. Ante, you said one of your fastest players, Coach. They were 3 of 15, I believe, on third down conversions. 
Fourth down, 12. Once again, it's Jared Bright back to punt. This time he goes 35 yards and out of bounds. Again. I think the last time we played them, they were two of 14 on third down of conversion. So that's that's excellent. The 18 first down. Fake the reverse again, and uh, you know staying in bounds and uh, using up the clock. Second down nine. Josh again to scramble. Oh, look at that quickness, coach. He Good pickup. Quickness. Third down one at the 27. And we finally pick one up. Good sneak there by Josh to pick up the first down. First and 10 at the 30 yard line. Here we run the quarterback lead play and uh, it's still a good pickup by five. Actually got six, second down four. You notice who we're going to and now we go with the option again. They, you know, we hadn't used that option out of a shotgun all year. And uh, big pickup. We're gonna see it again. Josh made a great pitch. Quentin, great job catching the ball. And uh, again, old faithful for Oklahoma, that option. <laughs> and uh, big play. After a one-yard pickup by Happel, it's second and nine from the 34. Here we run a quick handoff and uh, get gets some yards. Good job by Antoine Savage getting it upfield. Third and five from the 30. Here come the option again. Really, Josh wanted to stay in bounds, and their defender did a great job shoving him out. We knew we had to stay in, but they did a nice job shoving us out. And well, how about this, Coach? Tim Duncan with the big biggest play of the game, putting the ball through on a field goal. I tell you, I just had a feeling he was going to make it. We almost didn't go for it, and I just thought, you know what? He's going to make this. Had a had a blessed moment there to, <laughs> to realize that, and Tim, really, that's a big play on his part. Sooners uh, lead 27-17, but K-State now heating up clock, which is what the Sooners want. That's right. We're going to sit back, and uh, they're going to get 60 of their 235 yards on this drive, but we're going to sit back. We're up 10, make them use the clock, stay in bounds, play soft coverages. And uh, it's a whole different back different complexion because you're just sure we, we 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 still could have played a few of these the, the touchdown they're going to get we're in a we're, we're back there playing it and uh, we just jumped too soon right here Derek's back there in good position look he just just missed times his jump and they make a big play it was only I think uh eight or six or eight seconds left in the game there though here's the onside kick and the Damian, great job Damian Mackey catches it to seal the uh the victory and that's a good win that's it. Better than a good win, Coach. There's the story. It's a great win. 27-24. Going to talk about it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Now it's time for the Big Time Sports Apparel Player of the Week. It's when we pick the Sooner that typified the Big Time attitude to dig down deeper. This week's Big Time Player is Trent Smith of Clinton, Oklahoma. Trent caught eight passes for 96 yards and one touchdown. Congratulations, Trent. You are the big-time player of the week. When you wear big-time, dig down deeper. Well, a happy locker room, needless to say. Big 12 championship undefeated. <laughs> By the way, it was cold outside and warm in the locker room, so a little bit of fog in there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it, was, go to the locker room, it was exciting to have the Orange Bowl reps in the locker room and... Uh, and presented us the Big 12 Championship trophy. A lot of excitement. Players had a lot of fun passing that trophy around. Now listen up, man. Listen up. Listen, we're going to let it die down, and we're going to go out and take that picture. Listen, could not be more proud of you guys. I'm going to tell you something. You hung in there like we said. It was going to be tough. You fought all the way down to the end, and you made the plays to win the football game. It wasn't always pretty, but you know what? All year, you find a way to win. And I'll tell you what. We're going down to the Orange Bowl, aren't we? Hey. You guys know this. Oklahoma plays dang good in the Orange Bowl, don't they? Hey, Oklahoma is hard to beat in that Orange Bowl. And I'm going to tell you something. We can't wait. Bring on whoever it is, right? <laughs> well, that would have fogged it up even if it hadn't been. <laughs> well, you know, we do have a great history in the Orange Bowl, Oh, that's Bob. true. You know, uh, 12, uh, we've won 12 or 16 times down there. We've been in the Orange Bowl more, more than any other university, so uh, it's exciting. Maybe it's a good omen. But, well, Coach, just think of this season. Four teams ranked in the top ten, really, and one of them, and three of them away from home, and one of them beat twice. Yeah, it's uh, it's special. Fantastic. You know, that's people. Uh, you know, Kansas State's a good football team. Everyone understands that. Coach well, good players play hard, and to beat them two times, one at their place, and now at a neutral site, and when they've had two weeks to prepare for you, and people want to critique Josh Heupel's performance. Well, he's playing against the number two defense in the country. Right. They've had two weeks to work on them. They've already played them one time, so it's not just going to be easy to go to, to go out and. Uh, 
uh, you know, and just all of a sudden light them up. They're, they're a good team. And uh, to beat them two times in the year says a, a great deal. Uh, along with that, you're right. We've played a, a tough right. schedule with uh, four top ten teams, uh, you know, uh, go down and also play A&M down at their place, uh, another ranked opponent. And, uh, you know, all those games away from home to win. Again, just couldn't be more proud of our players' toughness and, and their character and the way they've handled themselves through, through the year. Well, Florida State in the Orange Bowl, Coach, that's familiar territory for you uh, from your background. <laughs> well, if it, it is. If it's them, we're going to find out here uh, in a while. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, Florida, I'm 2-2 two two versus Florida State. That's not bad for most people playing uh, Florida State and uh, won the national championship game when we're at Florida, uh, playing them in the Sugar Bowl in 96. So uh, if it is them, it'll be great. Uh, it'll be exciting to go compete with them. And I really like our team and the way we match up. Coach, you've just had a sensational season, and, uh, and needless to say, all the fans are just thrilled to death for you and for the team. It's just uh, terrific. Well, now we can uh, let our air out and, uh, and, and say it has, you know, the season is complete, the regular season, and uh, to win the Big 12 championship and to go play for it and win in that atmosphere was great. And uh, now it does complete the season, and uh, I guess we can accept a few pats on the back right now. Absolutely. And, uh, can hold that finger up in the air for a little bit <laughs> and uh, until we, for about a month until we uh, go play for the national championship. It'll be extremely exciting. Can't wait, Coach. It's been great working with you on the Playback Show. I want to thank uh, Mark Stallings and uh, Jay, uh, Little John, and of course Steve Newman and the entire crew. We appreciate everything they've done. And Boomer Soon. Sooner Football 2000 has been brought to you by Coca-Cola, the official soft drink of the Oklahoma Sooners. Your Oklahoma Ford dealers, the best in Oklahoma. Phillips 66, proud sponsors of OU Athletics. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. The Daily Oklahoman, the Oklahoman sports section. We got game. National American Insurance Company, Oklahomans working hard for Oklahomans. Rib Crib Barbecue, where bold begin. Gatorade Thirst Quencher. When the moment comes, will you have what it takes to finish? Gatorade. Is it in you? Taco Bell. Proud sponsor of Sooner Football 2000. Get it at the bell. And by Big Time Sports Apparel. Dig down deeper. Promotional considerations by Audio Midwest, Stillwater, and Midwest City. Furnishings provided by Mr. Robert Fine Furniture in Norman. has been a Sooner Vision presentation for the Sooner Sports Network.